few years ago, the city council elected to have all city departments go through assessments to determine a couple of things. One, are we do, is each department doing the right thing and are we serving the right customers? And the other is, is that there are there weaknesses and or strengths that, that they would want to know about. As part of that, the fire department had an assessment done last year um, coming into this year. Um, it got delayed a little bit, the report got it delayed a little bit due to COVID, but the assessment was performed by City Gate and Associates, and they came in and looked at the fire department's operation and prepared this report for council. They looked at a number of things, response time, our ability to um, staff apparatus and come up with what the report calls an effective response force and our ability to respond to all areas of the city in a, in a certain, um, certain period of time. There were 15 findings and seven recommendations that came out of the report. And some of the uh, findings that were, I think, crucial to the City Council from a planning perspective is, is that our six fire stations are in the right locations and we have the right number of fire stations. If we had fewer fire stations, it would be very difficult to put an effective response force on scene within the period of time that we desire. Out of those, the recommendations came, we still need to plan on rebuilding the four fire stations that still need to be rebuilt because the way they're currently configured and the structures currently are, they're not meeting our needs currently and they're not gonna meet our needs into the future. Another key finding related directly to that though is, is that it's really dependent upon our paid on call firefighters and they made note of the fact that recruiting and retention is becoming more and more difficult and our numbers are down. That becomes an issue looking into the future that if uh, we continue to have problems recruiting and retaining paid on call firefighters, it may speak to a change in how we operate or a necessary change for how we operate. The fire department has eight um, full-time firefighters, um, four chief officers who makes up, make up the majority of our command staff, and four firefighter inspectors who also do code inspections throughout the city day to day. The rest of our 115 firefighter force are what we call paid on call firefighters. So when the call goes off, they get paid when they respond. We also have what we call duty crews Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 in four of our six fire stations. And those are paid on call firefighters that volunteer to work those shifts during the day. And the reason we have that coverage during the day is it's much harder to get paid on call firefighter turnout during the day when you, when you have uh, significant events. Um, so that weakness becomes more glaring during the day unless we supplement that with uh, duty crew firefighters. And that was one of the findings and one of the recommendations is that we maintain support for our duty crew program because if we let that support lapse or we quit staffing duty crews, we're going to have a very, very difficult time responding to critical incidents in the city during the day. So very aware of the fact that the future is very uncertain. And this is true of, of all paid on call fire departments and volunteer fire departments across the country. They are really getting into a, a situation where um, it's being very difficult to staff um, and respond in many parts of the country. It's not unusual to our city or our surrounding cities. In fact, many of our surrounding traditionally more paid on call fire departments have changed their staffing models because they have found that it's been very difficult or impossible to staff with paid on call firefighters. So my next step um, is, is that I need to come up with a, um, a, re a performance metric that the city council can look at then, and then can adopt. And that performance metric um, is certainly affected by how we staff and our staffing and our response and our response time but without an adopted performance metric, it's pretty hard for people to say you're not meeting a standard. Um, so, um, and that doesn't have to necessarily be the same as a national standard. Um, the council can adopt whatever standard is reasonable. So I need to come up with a performance metric to bring back to city council for them to consider and consider adopting.